According to our estimates, Tesla has currently produced approximately 35 million 4680 battery cells, which would be sufficient for around 29,000 Cybertrucks, considering each battery comprises about 1,200 cells. Alongside the advanced battery pack, Tesla is also contemplating the 100 in 5 battery technology, as the company has been quietly testing it. While the manufacturer is focused on ramping up the production of the 4680 cells, continuous taunts arise as BMW unveils a new weapon called the 4695. With this battery technology, the BMW CEO confidently asserts that Tesla needs to catch up or even scale back production with the German automaker. So, why is BMW so confident with this battery pack? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Speaking of BMW, the company has long favored large cylindrical batteries after observing Tesla's achievements. In September 2022, BMW announced that it would adopt an entirely new large cylindrical batteries for the new class model starting in 2025. So the 4695 is what they're aiming for. How can the 4695 BMW battery technology compete with 4680 Tesla? With the surge in Cybertruck pre-orders, Tesla is working on enhancing the development and production of its 4680 battery cells. Recently, the manufacturer achieved the production of 20 million cells at its Tesla factory. Additionally, the South Korean battery manufacturer LG Energy Solution LGES, has announced a $3.9 billion investment to build a new production line for 4680 batteries for Tesla in the country. While Tesla is focused on developing large quantities of its latest battery technology, BMW confidently challenges Tesla with its 4695 battery technology, suggesting that Tesla will be left behind if they don't catch up. It's somewhat surprising considering Tesla is known for being a pioneer in researching new energy technologies and new battery systems and collaborating effectively with major battery manufacturers. Therefore, to be on par with Tesla's 4680 battery, the 4695 from BMW must be a significantly potential battery. Is this true, and should Tesla strive to catch up with BMW's technology, or should they concentrate on the large-scale development of the 4680 battery? To gain a more objective understanding, let's compare these two battery technologies. It's known that EVE will be the primary supplier of the 4695 battery for BMW. The 4695 is also a type of cylindrical lithium-ion NMC battery, quite similar to the 4680, but with a height of 95 millimeters. In terms of energy density, the 4680 battery ranges from 272 to 296 watt-hours per kilogram, while the energy density of the 4695 battery, based on our findings, is around 280 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram. We also researched the capacity of these batteries, with a 4695 having a capacity of 31,000 mAh and the 4680 having a capacity of 26,000 mAh. It's easy to see that the difference is slightly significant, indicating that the BMW battery has the capability to store and deliver more energy. The higher energy density of the 4695 battery provides a longer range for electric vehicles. For example, a Tesla Model 3 with a 4680 battery can go up to 400 miles longer, while a 4695 battery can go up to 420 miles. This is an advantage that we highly appreciate about this type of battery. It can greatly improve the limitations of short-range electric vehicles. We had an idea if Tesla used this battery pack for the Model 2, but this is far-fetched or nonsense. Just kidding. So. Is there a big difference in the charging capabilities of the 4695 and 4680? Returning to the topic, because the 4695 battery has a higher energy density than the 4680 battery, it means it can store more energy within a given volume. This advantage can improve the charging capability of the battery, as it can charge faster from 0 to 60% in about 15 minutes without overheating. However, the 4695 battery also has higher electrical resistance than the 4680 battery. 
Higher electrical resistance means the battery will lose more energy during charging. This could reduce the charging efficiency of the battery as it requires more energy to reach a full charge. On the other hand, the 4680 Tesla battery has an all-pole tab structure, so it only takes 20 minutes to charge the 400 voltage range to help the 4680 reach 60%. As recently announced, the Cybertruck uses an 800 volt voltage range for the 4680 battery pack, so the charging speed will be shortened to about 15 minutes. In conclusion, the charging capacity of these two battery technologies is determined by many factors, depends on many different conditions, and does not make a big difference. So, what are the limitations to the 4695 versus the 4680? Because the mechanical strength of the 4680 battery is higher, it is more suitable for CTC technology, cell to chassis. Tesla has eliminated the battery cover on the 4680 battery array, increasing space utilization. In terms of manufacturing costs, Musk said that after adopting the CTC Plus integrated die casting technology, 370 parts can be saved, the body weight can be reduced by 10%, and the battery cost per kilowatt hour can be reduced by 7%. Meanwhile, BMW has not adopted this technology and has even mocked Gigapress machinery. So with the 4695 battery, it's certain that the size could be significantly larger and heavier if BMW lacks the manufacturing capability similar to Tesla's. In terms of material costs, producing the 4680 battery could cost as low as $100 per kilowatt hour, while manufacturing the 4695 battery might go up to $150 per kilowatt hour due to its larger size, requiring more materials and a more complex shaping process. On the other hand, the 4695 battery will have a significant drawback in that it is likely to be heavier within the same unit, as 445G per cell compared to the 355G of the 4680. When considering the application of these batteries in electric vehicles, it poses challenges in terms of the vehicle's weight and its impact on performance. As mentioned earlier, a 10% reduction in vehicle weight with CTC technology means the vehicle can operate longer while consuming the same amount of electric power. Not stopping there, alongside the differences in voltage, there's another crucial aspect to consider, the fast charging cycle lifespan of the two types of batteries. The 4680 battery type is evaluated to have a fast charging cycle lifespan of 1500 cycles. This means the battery can charge and discharge reliably for approximately 1,500 cycles before the performance starts to degrade significantly. On the other hand, the 4695 battery type has a lower fast charging cycle lifespan of 1,200 cycles and a number lower than its 4680 counterpart. This could impact the usability and performance of the battery in applications that require frequent charging and discharging. According to BMW, their new battery technology has a higher nickel content and lower cobalt content, making it more environmentally friendly. The German automaker also notes that they are aiming for a 95% material recycling rate for high-voltage electric vehicle batteries. However, this is a target and the battery has not yet been implemented and tested. While BMW's enthusiasm for their new battery generation is commendable, the German automaker may face challenges in scaling up the production of the EV4695 batteries much like Tesla. Even the industry leader has encountered difficulties in ramping up the production of the 4680 cells introduced on battery day in 2020. Elon Musk has previously emphasized that mass production of new technologies is an extremely challenging endeavor. Both the 4680 and 4695 batteries have their strengths and weaknesses, and both technologies are worthy of application. However, in terms of production factors, it seems that the 4695 may face more challenges in scaling up production, and it has not been implemented in electric vehicles yet, making it difficult to determine official specifications. In addition to focusing on the large-scale production of the 4680, Tesla is also exploring a battery technology that addresses a key aspect that the company has always aimed for fast charging capability. The XFC StoreDot battery, nicknamed 105, is what the manufacturer is currently testing. Why can StoreDot's battery potentially usher in a new era for electric vehicles? The manufacturer StoreDot is certainly no stranger to audiences or customers interested in the energy sector or the electric vehicle market. 
StoreDot is considered a pioneer in fast charging battery technology for electric vehicles, leading the way in Israel. Let's talk about StoreDot's XFC battery, also known as 105. The 105 battery is a lithium ion pouch type battery that utilizes StoreDot's high density silicon anode technology with a 38H capacity. Typically, when looking at lithium ion battery packs, Graphite is predominantly seen playing the role of the main positive electrode material. In contrast, in the XFC battery, the silicon material of the positive electrode is nanostructured, increasing the surface area in contact with the electrolyte, and thereby accelerating the transfer of lithium ions. It has the capability to store more energy than 10 times higher than traditional graphite positive electrode materials, allowing for faster charging without reducing battery capacity. In early November, we received information that StoreDot conducted an experiment involving multiple consecutive fast charging cycles and compared them with slow charging scenarios. Specifically, the company carried out 1,000 consecutive fast charging XFC tests, including sessions where the charging state increased from 10 to 80% in just 10 minutes, as well as charging the state of charge SOC from 0 to 100% using extreme fast charging. After the conducted experiments, StoreDot achieved an impressive result that the XFC cells did not experience degradation compared to cells charged slowly from 0 to 100% SOC. To put it simply, regardless of whether the XFC batteries charged at a slow or very fast rate, the degradation remains the same. This provides reassurance for those seeking a battery pack that can endure up to 1.5 million miles without encountering significant issues. It's given an interesting name, 105, because StoreDot claims to provide a range of 100 miles with a full charge within 5 minutes, as promised by the company by the year 2024. If this claim holds true, the XFC battery will usher in a new era for electric vehicles from any manufacturer in the market. So, how is Tesla testing StoreDot's XFC battery technology? A coincidence is that, as we know, Tesla has always focused on a strategy to reduce electric vehicle charging time by improving various battery technologies to enhance brand credibility and, more importantly, to reduce range anxiety and provide more convenience for its customers. Around the end of June, several reliable sources reported that Tesla had just conducted tests on the potential of StoreDot's XFC battery technology. Specifically, the company conducted numerous internal tests at its laboratory in California, focusing on the performance of the 105 battery. According to reports from USA Today, Tesla's expertise in battery management systems and vehicle integration positions the company as a leading candidate to assess and potentially confirm the functionality of StoreDot's new battery technologies. During the exploration of StoreDot's XFC battery technology, Tesla conducted rigorous tests to evaluate safety, reliability, and lifespan. This thorough evaluation is necessary to ensure the suitability of the technology for mass production and to open up possibilities for collaboration with StoreDot. The research results have not yet been disclosed by Tesla, and the research process may still be ongoing. Conducting comprehensive research on all aspects of a battery typically takes over a year, including monitoring the battery's operation and measuring the results. Interestingly, a third-party assessment of StoreDot's XFC battery technology has yielded very positive evaluations for this type of battery. Schmuldelion Energy, or SDLE, an independent battery laboratory, tested StoreDot's XFC battery at the end of 2022 and concluded that this type of battery is ready for electric vehicle production. They highlighted the technology's superior fast charging capability, high energy density, and commercial viability. SDLE conducted tests on this EV battery through 1,000 consecutive fast charging cycles to complete evaluations related to energy density, charging speed, operating conditions, and cycles. The test demonstrated that the battery leads the energy in energy density, reaching 300 watt-hours per kilogram. However, we acknowledge a limitation of StoreDot's XFC battery regarding the use of silicon as the positive electrode, which could potentially result in a higher cost compared to the traditional lead positive electrode, even though silicon is much more efficient due to its properties. From our research, the price of silicon is around $4,250 per ton, while graphite is cheaper at around 3,200 US dollars per ton. 
Fortunately, StoreDot estimates that the production cost could be significantly reduced, saving thousands of dollars by reducing the size of the battery pack. For example, from 80 kilowatt hours to 50 kilowatt hours, saving 200 kilograms. Because it is a pouch type, it is sure to be lighter than the cylindrical one. XFC is also more environmentally friendly and does not degrade like other materials used, such as lead. StoreDot is aiming to improve its XFC battery to have a 3-minute charging capability by 2028 and 100 miles in 2 minutes by the end of the decade. Although we know it is very challenging, nothing is certain without a clear vision of the future. CEO of Tesla Elon Musk had previously mentioned that the company is still looking for ways to ensure a greater supply of batteries for its vehicles. The company is also keeping its options open when it comes to new battery technologies, as StoreDot's fast-charging XFC battery is certainly seen as a significant breakthrough if it proves its mass production capabilities. StoreDot is currently researching the feasibility of mass producing its 105 batteries with its manufacturing partner EV Energy in China. StoreDot aims to start mass production of the batteries in 2024, while Tesla's testing of StoreDot batteries doesn't necessarily indicate a sign of collaboration between the two companies in the future. It highlights Tesla's focus on pursuing next-generation battery technology that could further improve vehicle performance. In conclusion, the XFC battery technology, with its remarkable ability to charge up to 80% in under 10 minutes, appears to be a suitable candidate for integration into Tesla's current lineup. Despite not delving into other factors, the XFC's fast charging capability aligns well with Tesla's overarching strategy of reducing charging time, addressing range anxiety, and enhancing convenience for their customers. So, how do you feel about the battery technology in today's episode? Which candidate will you appreciate the most? 4695, 4680, or XFC StoreDot? Discuss below, and we appreciate your contribution. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.